Near Altabetia in the Italian Dolomites, a legacy of horrendous violence has left behind a kind of gift. It's a museum in the mountains. I am very much not a mountain climber, but when I visited Altabetia in 2014, I got to pretend for the day. I was able to look up at this towering spire of rock, and I said to myself, you know what? I just Dolomite climb that mountain. By clipping a carabiner to a metal cable and pulling myself up a series of iron rungs, I was able to climb a mountain that I would never normally have been able to, and it was really amazing. But these beautiful vistas were once the site of massive violence, made possible by these iron rungs and cables that I was climbing. This system was known as the Via Ferrata, or the Iron Road. declared war on the Austro-Hungarian Empire in May 1915, and soldiers rushed up both sides of the mountains. They began fighting at the top of these snowy, icy impasses, and this became known as the Dolomite Front, or the White War. These soldiers fought at altitudes of up to 12,000 feet, and in weather as cold as negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit. Digging in for a long fight, the Austrians built an entire ice city on the side of the mountain. They had storerooms and barracks, and everything was connected by ice tunnels. And both sides built incredibly elaborate systems of cabling and iron rungs to bring both soldiers and supplies up and down the mountain. It was this system, these via ferrata, or iron roads, that made this insane fight even possible. Both the Italians and the Austrians tunneled. The idea was to tunnel as close beneath an enemy bunker, pack them with explosives, and then blow the opposing force off the mountain. In early 1916, the Italians decided to strike a decisive blow at the Austrians, and they spent three months digging a tunnel that would come just 12 feet below the Austrian bunker. Now, the Austrians could hear them digging for weeks, but were told to hold position. On April 14th, the noise stopped, and 100 men were instantaneously vaporized, as were 90 feet off the top of the mountain. By the time the Dolomite Front was abandoned in 1917, 150,000 men had died on the mountains, mostly of cold and exposure. Today, the remains of this war are ever-present. You can visit the bunkers and tunnels carved by these soldiers and climb the same Via Ferrata routes that they climbed to bring supplies up and down. In the last few decades, over 80 soldiers have been recovered as the ice has thawed and released their bodies. I climbed Pichadu, which is a newer route, but there are over 400 Via Ferratas in the area. It's a chance both to look at the incredible natural beauty and mourn those lost on the mountainside. Subscribe here and watch more videos here. For me personally, it was a real victory to, to climb up that mountain through the Via Ferrata. I had always thought of myself as more of a, you know, a sedimentary type. Geology jokes. <laughs>